what is going on guys it's rob aka flight sim today and in today's video i'm bringing you a way that you can reinstall your flight simulator or microsoft flight simulator in seconds depending on your power of your computer now a few formalities to get in the, out of the way with this as always please do hit that subscribe button i know it really does mean a lot to see my subscriber count going up and i have you guys actually on board during my journey a second part is that you will see in the links or the description there's links to our discord server for the flight sim network um, it's a server that's full of real world pilots uh, vat sim supervisors vat sim controllers um, and flight sim enthusiasts we all come together um, and any questions you may have you can ask in there and you will get knowledgeable people to help you out and lastly of all if you find that this video has helped you out hugely and immensely please consider hitting that thumbs up like because you then tell the YouTube algorithm that this is really helpful and they will push it to people who can help further and even extra if you wanted to consider sharing the video to places to show other people this information as well because you will find it massively helpful. Um, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. So what we basically are going to do is you're going to make a copy of a folder. Now this folder will be your one store folder. And the way to find this is if you go into your community uh, folder, go back one to packages, go to official, and it's this one store folder here. Okay, it has all this information in. And what you want to do is basically copy and paste this somewhere on a, 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 maybe if you've got two drives, a separate drive or somewhere in your drive you've got now, but somewhere outside of your SIM um, and name it obviously like copy one store or whatever that would be. Okay, it's 100 gig or just short I think. So 98.4 gigabytes. Uh, but this is the data that Microsoft Flight Simulator downloads when it's reinstalling. So once you've done that and you've made your copy, what we're going to do then is you're going to uninstall your simulator. Okay, completely get rid of it. And then reinstall it. Now we all know that screen that when you reinstall it, you are greeted with this. So when the simulator starts to reinstall itself, and you can obviously see a page similar to this, you know, that bar across the bottom as it starts to install itself. What you're going to want to do is just press on pause and back out, nothing else. So let it start a little bit, one or two percent, pause it back out of the sim, and you just close it down completely. And then once you've closed it down, you're going to be left with a familiar folder structure. And that folder structure will be the one store folder you saw earlier. So if you can get where I'm going with this now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the contents of your backup one store folder and copy those into the new one store folder that's just been created. Let that do its thing. What you will then find is that when you start the sim back up this time, You've gone from 1% to 98, 99%, just like that. And it will just update and install you know, any updates you may have missed from your backup. And again, for every time there's a new update, consider creating another backup um, with that in there. Otherwise, if you leave it too long, eventually it'll have to install those updates as well. But that's it. Simulator. Flight Microsoft Flight Simulator installed again within seconds. So if this has been really helpful to you, like I say, please do hit me, subscribe to the channel, but hit that thumbs up to let everyone else know about this content of the video. But as always, guys, stay safe, take care, and we'll talk soon.